one was to ask me how many rations of bacon do I eat in a day? Um, well, the, the correct answer would be none. Because uh, I, I don't buy bacon in rations, I buy it in a brick farm. Tip one! Brick farm bacon is better. You can get this um, these bricks of bacon in uh, the far superior. Um, let's uh, cut a slice off. See what I mean. It's a good brick there. And obviously it's the so-called off coats, but um, it's often cheaper. Um, I'm just gonna get a little bit here. I'm not not too fussed about filling the sandwich of bacon. It's more to uh, garnish it. Um, Life. Nature. It's nature. Nature's best. Okay, this bacon's uh, just about ready to transfer to uh, a plate. I'm sure um, this plate hasn't been washed for um, obvious reasons. Obvious. Now we have our cooked bacon. ready to assemble into the sandwich. Um, another bad um, because I quite like uh, Shadow the Hedgehog or um, well he's a black sonic isn't he so uh, but Blonic the Hedgehog as he should be known. Um, I quite like Tesco Chicken Roll um, what Tesco Tesco chicken roll? Uh, quick edit. Blank the hedgehog. What Tesco chicken roll is is essentially um, it's uh, pure chicken meat. Uh, you know, condensed into one big mound, uh, as it is naturally found. Step two. Tesco chicken roll is 100% natural chicken. On the chicken and then sliced into 30 individual slices. Um, here's an example of the slice right here. As you can tell it's uh, very um, that natural in, in the way that it moves. Um, Naturally, um, being on the French Canal, but it's difficult to get uh, baguettes because they're not usually grown much in France. Um, so I have a, uh, a large submarine type sandwich here, which I'm going to slice. Um, it's difficult to hold this camera and slice bread at the same time. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place it place it here on my trusty Bible um, while I cut this sort of submarine type bread uh, put one in, in half um, Again, the gaps are not usually grown in, in France, so... This is the baguette, um, the bread I'm using. The shadow of a hedgehog. Naturally, what we're going to do now is Add butter to the bread. Um, uh, it's very well in transit. Gone mouldy. 
Um. Moldy butter is bad. I've put a dent in my plans. Um. Uh. Um. Um. Well, what um, we're going to add now is the Tesco chicken roll. Um, just a few of these scattered along along the sandwich. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog is a very very linear linear game. So naturally, um, we are using a very linear piece of bread. Um, uh -huh. to a sandwich. Um, what we're going to add now is the bacon, which is um, all good uh, games have video game bacon, as I like to call it. Uh, but this game. Um, has video game bacon as I just said and the sandwich counterpart will actually have it as well. Um one other thing that we're adding is uh black olives um pickled in brine. Because uh, olives are native to France and are a certain colour much like uh, our good friend Shadow so I'm going to Slice up a few of these. Um, like so, uh, to put in the sandwich. Now don't they look nice? The uh, black olives. Um, the next thing, uh, naturally, um, France was under German occupancy for quite a while um, in the nine, 19, oh, 1950s. So I'm um, going to add this uh, Thai sweet chilli sauce. Um, I don't know anything German, but uh, time's close. Um, we don't really have any other sauces in the... Uh, small sh ship's kitchen. Um, the chef here quite likes the Thai sweet chilli sauce so that's all that's all we, we put on on food here. Um, <laughs> um, naturally um, we cut up the sandwich now I, I think I uh, don't know how she was the other guy who does this, um I uh, don't quite know. Um I'm usually holding the camera and she cuts it but uh, obviously he's not here now so we can't uh, exactly do that. usually pushes down on the sandwich. I, I don't know why. Um, but that's this is the sandwich.